Good morning, everyone. Good back to be back on our broadcast today. Uh, if it feels as early for y'all as it does us, it's early. So you pray for us. I'm looking to watch, and it says seven, but my body don't know that yet. But uh, we're glad to be here. We thank the Lord for this time that he's given us uh, to be uh, back on our, our broadcast. And we thank the Lord for you. A lot to pray about today. I want you to remember uh, Brother Gary Blackman is uh, having a rough time. And, uh, uh, they was going to do another liver transplant last night, and then they found out uh, I had some more problems and I couldn't do it. But uh, he's really having a hard time. Him and Kathy and the family all need our prayers this morning. So let's lift them up uh, today. Keep praying for others that are facing the battles with cancer and other things today. And uh, we've been asked to pray for uh, much sickness and people that's got doctor tests and visits and all of this and the hospital homes and rest homes uh, are full. Uh, let's pray for these today. I want to pray for the lost, wherever they might be, that God would reach out and touch them. Uh, that's most important today. Uh, that people prepared to leave this world. And uh, we have many uh, that we'd like to pray about you know, in our family, and I'm sure you do, friends and neighbors, and uh, do pray. Pray for our church. Uh, we do thank God for all he's done and all he's doing. So uh, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you that you gave us this day. We are honored to get to come back to this morning. Our, our heart is uh, heavy for those that are suffering such pain, going through such trials and struggles. And, and we pray, God, for Gary there, God, and our Lord, that all he's been through, that you'd strengthen his body. And God, the family, we pray for others today that are facing great things, that you uh, touch them and where cancer and all these things are. And God, we pray that you reach out and touch and continue to touch our wife there this morning, God, with this problems in her feet and legs. And God, we ask you to comfort where death has come, to be real uh, to these bereaved hearts. And then we pray for the needs of our nation, God, that you might deal with the hearts of the lost. And God, these that's in leadership position, God, we pray where this war is, that you might move on the needs there. God, all these people that are losing their life, being slaughtered, we pray, God, that you'd stop this, God. And Lord, we ask you, God, today that they be a stirring in the hearts of the people across the land and around the world. We ask you right now, Father, if you would, to strengthen our bodies, to anoint us, and give us wisdom of the word. And God, let us be faithful in all things that you have us to do. Thank you for every prayer you answered. And we do ask you, God, to bless in Jesus' name. Amen. We send it to Brother Clyde. We hope that he's doing well today. So you pray for him. Also, we want to send it to Sister Bobby and Mary Ann, uh, Sister Alice and Sister Joe, and uh, we'll send it to Charles and Melinda. I hope y'all uh, still doing well. And Charles had some surgery, I'd like to remember him, and then just pray the Lord would continue to touch there. And we'll send it to Johnny and Jeanette and Johnny and Dee this morning, and over there to Jimmy. No, he's probably. I'll be listening in on the radio next week, as well as Leon and Liz. Uh, we send it out to them. Uh, also, want to send it to Sister Billy. I hope the Lord is touching you. I also want to send it uh, uh, today to every member of our church. I know Wanda's probably got us tuned in. And, uh, Aaron and Kathy and Kenneth and Ashley and, uh, like I say, to Gary and uh, Kathy this morning and Rosie and Wayne and whoever else might be uh, tuning us in. Uh, Sister Judy Potter, we appreciate you. And we appreciate all the comments that we get from week to week. And Randy and Donna, also Malcolm and Ann, we appreciate all of y'all today. Uh, others that are, are watching or listening, Bruce and all of the boys there, may God touch y'all. And uh, we do thank the Lord for uh, his goodness. And uh, Wayne and Sonia, we appreciate y'all. And also uh, today to Joe and Sonia, we want to send it out to them. And uh, I want to remember Jean and Danny and pray the Lord would continue and reach down and touch and help in that need. 
uh, there today. God knows the need. So you pray for them and uh, pray for David and Joyce and, uh, and that God would reach and touch and help them uh, today. There's a lot of, lot of sickness, folks. There's a lot of things going on. And uh, so you pray. <clears throat> you pray for us because this is awful early. Amen. We might wake every dog up in Chattooga County. A woman in the Bible days, her life's me almost gone. God sent Elijah to make his word known. He said, Woman. Jesus is 
Davison, Diane, and JB, and all their, their spouses and family down in the uh, Americas. So we appreciate all y'all, uh, too. Uh, yes, JD and Ellen. JD and Ellen's on there watching. And there's a Miss Scoggins uh, lady that's on there normally watching. And uh, we send it out to you if you're watching this morning. And uh, we'll just have to go. Go. Uh, uh, somewhere else that's on that where I thought it was so let's do this maybe kid D we'll see you this morning 
It's too much thunder and not the rain. There's too many programs and not the break. There's too many people think to the change. Had too much thunder and not the rain. Now when she slept up, he said no. making too big of a show and ain't got much to show for it, you know, uh, uh, putting on programs and all this and uh, trying to tell a sinner what to pray to get saved and claiming they've won all these souls and what they've done is uh, got a, a church full of lost people uh, that don't know the true uh, relationship with God, don't have the the, the feeling, the, the indwelling. When I say feeling, I don't mean feeling F-E-E-L, I mean the F-I-L-L-I-N-G. Uh, in them the way that they should of the Holy Ghost and uh, people's going to be surprised one of these days and uh, I hope that you're not one of them well, that may not work we'll try. well my life has been blessed in so many If family and friends day after day, oh, but I, I can't stay here. Oh, oh, oh. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad I, I just stopped by. I don't know about you out there today, but ain't God been good to us? I uh, praise Him for His blessings and all that He has done. And, uh, he's a wonderful Savior. Let's do it flat, maybe. Uh, I hope our song today is a blessing and you pray for us. We apologize for how we, we sound uh, this morning. And uh, amen. May God bless you. Uh, we, we, we come to be a blessing. We, we're not we not come to make a record or nothing. Uh, amen. So uh, we just praise the Lord for His blessing. I remember the night long left. We stood by the side of the way. It was strange how it all seemed so peaceful. Thank you. 
Show up, and he will bring you to the fire. 
y'all believe that? Um, let's see how this do and see. <coughs> Every day the world is filled with fear and sorrow. Each day the loss is far worse than the last. People live in dread of their tomorrow. And don't have time to think about the fact that Jesus called and paid for my insurance. Get all my ABCs right, and uh, I, I, you know, sometimes we just we look, we look, we look, and we look too hard. We, we can't see things when it's right under our nose a lot of times. But uh, we send this out. Going to send it out to Lyndon Charles. They like this song. I hope you do too. To be well known of me. Oh 
gets out in the song today and may God bless you. I stood in the courtroom the judge turned my way it looks like you're guilty now what do you say Thank you. 
today. Well, we're going to get started this morning in our message. It's good to be here this today, and I hope that song was a blessing to you out there this morning, because without mercy, why, you couldn't have grace today, and without grace, you couldn't be saved, and we just thank the Lord for His grace and His mercy. We're not deserving of it, none of us are. But God loved us enough to give it to us, and I praise Him for that. Uh, I know all of you folks on the Facebook know it's going to be in Matthew chapter 7, but next week, as you know, our radio audience will be receiving uh, this on the radio, so we want them to know. Uh, also, and uh, it'll be in Matthew 7, starting in verse number 20. And I don't know how hard we'll preach this, but I do want you to hear what God has said uh, to me today. And this is something that we need to pay heed to. The Bible said in Matthew 7, starting in verse 20, Jesus wrote these, said these words. He didn't write them, Matthew did, but he said them. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Now notice, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Let us pray. Father, thank you that you gave us this day. And Father, we do praise you for your blessings. Thank you for the word. Father, we just ask for wisdom and unction of the spirit to preach thus that you have given us. And God, that we might be a help, that someone might be touched out there in the unseen audience. God, we don't know who's watching, but you do. We don't know who will be listening next week, but God, you already do. And Father, I do pray that hearts would be challenged over the life that we're living. And God, that we might draw nigh to you, because God, that's where we need to be. And Father, you are a very present help, the Bible tells us, in our times of trouble. And Lord, we're living in troubled times today. Father, say to the uttermost, touch the bodies of the sick. Move upon these that have lost their loved ones and let them have peace and comfort that can only be found in you. God, I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to talk to you about serious business this morning. Amen. I'm not talking about a business of, uh, where you're making money or nothing. I'm talking about the business of life. I'm talking about your life today. I, I, I want to really stress just how serious it is concerning the life that you have chosen to live as well as myself here today. As you study this chapter uh, 7, it's the end of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Uh, the Sermon on the Mount was a message instructing the hearts of mankind how to live a righteous life. Those that were are, are a part of God's family. And the message, friend of mine, of the Sermon on the Mount covers three chapters. So I'm confident that we can conclude the seriousness of this matter. If Jesus took three chapters, friend of mine, to bring forth this sermon uh, to show us how to live righteously, then I believe it deserves our attention. I believe today we uh, can understand that it's serious. It's serious with Him. And if it's serious with Him, then uh, it should be serious with us today. I thought about in today's world, there are so many that are blinded uh, to God's expectation of us no matter, friend of mine, what service we have been called unto. There are people today that are, 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 they seem to have no understanding of what God expects out of them and out of us as a Christian. A uh, friend of mine, and, and as a member of the church, and as the body of Christ, and as the leaders of uh, the house of God. We people today are so blinded to the expectations of God in, in these respects, you know. Uh, they place personal need over God's requirements. And I, I've never seen a time when people were more out to do that than they are today to put their own personal needs, whether it be uh, from the pulpit to the back seat of the church, that uh, 
want to put their own personal needs uh, uh, prior to the requirements of God. They somehow uh, convinced himself that uh, God will understand. But I, I have somewhat of a problem with that. I, I really do because uh, uh, God's word is unchanging. Because God is an unchanging God. Uh, and because his word is already settled in heaven. Uh, uh, countless today has already left this world uh, having willfully put themselves in a place of judgment uh, uh, due to their neglect of God's word and, and we're told that God has no respect of person. So I'm here to tell you today God ain't changed his mind about sin. God ain't changed his mind about uh, his expectations of how uh, you and I are to live a righteous life if we're saved and to separate ourselves from the things of the world and, and set a standard for those that are lost that they might see the light of the love of God shining in us and see that now there is a path called the straight and narrow that uh, we are expected to walk amen here today I, I want you to understand that uh, it's serious business it, it deserves your attention it deserves uh, a wholehearted uh, a friend of mine uh, uh, look at, uh, uh, on your part and mind to, to, and bring forth the, the necessary changes that we need to put us back in compliance with the word of God people are no longer in compliance with the word of God churches are no longer in compliance with the word of God preachers are no longer in compliance with the word of God it I, I seem like we lost the inspiration of God I, I, in the things that God has called us to do in man I, I, you don't have to like it but God give it to me to preach in man I, I've been to my listen I, I, oh, we need to be steadfast and unmovable I, I, not giving up into the worldly persuasion not surrendering now to the pressures of the devil there are churches today that have compromised I, I, in fear of losing the congregation let me tell you something I, I, what good is the congregation of those that are demonically I, I influenced today I, I, I'd rather have one sitting on the pew I, I, that knows what God is all about as a church full of hypocrites I, I bring to mind I, 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 that are compromised to the world and living like hell and I, I convinced they're going to heaven they're just not going I, I, we need to get in the book I, and find out who God said wasn't going hey man I, I, there are people out there today that I, is all shacked up and think they're going to heaven you're not you need to get in the book I, and find out what God said about those that ain't going to make it I, I, you can be baptized I, I tell you look like a wrinkled broom but you still ain't saved I, I, when you get saved you'll change your lifestyle I, I, that's just what I'm, I better hurry on today listen I, I bring to mind I, I'm talking about serious business I, I get down to business with God amen I, our strength this day I, is in the foundation upon which we build our lives I, I, we're no stronger than our foundation I, I better listen I, I, we gotta have I, I, something steadfast and unmovable I, and that's God amen I, anyone can come Compromise, you can do that. Uh, anyone can throw their hands up and give up. Anybody can do that. Uh, uh, you can sell out to the world. Uh, you can refuse to fight the good fight of faith anymore. Sure, you can. Uh, uh, how do I know? Uh, uh, we can see the evidence of that all around us today. Uh, you know, when Jesus was coming into Jerusalem, uh, uh, you know what he done? Uh, uh, he went into the temple uh, and he did some spiritual house cleaning. Uh, they turned over the tables of the money changers. They were crooked, uh, ungodly people. Uh, uh, he run out the sacrifice. He had them all. Uh, and he told them, it is written my house. Uh, I shall be called a house of prayer. Uh, uh, but you have made it a den of thieves. Uh, and I begin to wonder today. Uh, I wonder what his action would be in the churches. How uh, uh, that bear his name. How uh, uh, that have yielded themselves to compromise. How uh, uh, that have walked away from the truth. Uh, uh, that has ignored his commandment. Uh, and then you got those out there today uh, uh, that has grown their path. Uh, uh, yes, they're living ungodly, uh, uh, but yet they're convinced they're still going in uh, at the straight gate. Uh, I'm here to tell you, God sent me to tell you you're not. Uh, uh, this is serious business. Uh, amen today. Uh, if the world stands and hearts continue down this path, uh, uh, if they chose I will the truth even be 
be found uh, uh, anymore. Amen. Uh, where you going to go find old fashioned preaching? Uh, where you going to go find someone uh, uh, that's not more afraid uh, of, the, of, the, of the church than they are God? Uh, where you going to go to find somebody uh, uh, that'll still call it what it is? Uh, uh, that's not trying to be politically correct. Uh, not trying to be worldly correct. correct. Uh, you got on your sign in your car. I don't care what you got on your cow. I don't care what you got on your shirt. Amen. What I care is what you got in your heart. Are you listening out there to me today? Jesus said when he come, I will he find faith. Ain't not talking about superficial things. Those that say anything or one thing and do another, there's plenty of them. Yes, people are they going to heaven, they'll say yeah. But they're living like hell. I friend of mine, your life ain't separated. You're just not a Christian at all. I believe when you get born again, you'll change. If there ain't no change, you ain't had it. If you ain't got it, you just ain't going to heaven. That's as old fashioned as I can get, but it's the God said truth. Now listen to me out there today, friend. His word and his promises. We need faith in that today. Have you considered how serious how these scriptures are that we have read? I think about it this morning. Not every woman that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, I shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, and there are those that mention his name, and there are those that have lived their life their way, and all the while never having surrendered their heart to the Lord. Now think about that. Have you ever seen so many that practice the ways of the world? Christian and on their way to heaven with a truckload of reward. How how sad today that you are so deceived. Look at verse 22. How many will say to me in that day? That's the day of judgment. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in our name? Have we not cast out devils? That's demons. There's only one devil. And in thy name done many wonderful words. That's quite a roster of works, isn't it? Uh, I feel that they felt like they could boast on. Uh, I want you to look at these categories. What time I got left? Uh, right. Have you ever associated uh, uh, these with preachers and pastors and evangelists? Uh, have you ever thought about that? Uh, how they prophesied, they cast out devils. Uh, how they've done many wonderful work. Uh, how but it wasn't of God. Uh, it wasn't God, wasn't in none of it. Uh, how it was all a show. It was all done. Uh, not for their own self edification. I, I listen, friend of mine. I, I just because a position is held, I, a title is given, I, a self acclaimed name is taken. I, I doesn't prove that you're God's servant today. I, verse 15 said, Beware of false prophets which come to you I, in sheep's clothing, I, but inwardly they're raving wool. He said, You shall know them. I, I buy their brood. I cannot say to you today, anyone who serves, whatever you're doing, is beyond the guidelines of God's word. It is not and cannot be of God. If it does not be back to King be by the word, then you're in the wrong business. I'll tell you that. Now listen, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. A corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit. Now when I think, I feel it doesn't matter what I think of you. I feel in the least, but it's what God said. I'm not here to please you today. I'm here to preach the word of God. It's what God said, amen. There are those that have thrown the instructions of God. I'm right out to winter. How they're doing things their own way. It's a crowd drawer. I guess you did. Because it's a crowd pleaser. But things will be different when judgment day comes. Now this is those that Jesus spoke about. And it'll be no different for anybody else. How they're making their own rules. How they're ordaining unqualified people. It don't matter today how many times you've been married. It don't matter what kind of life 
time you're living, how uh, uh, they'll pat you on the back and give you a position in the church. Uh, right. uh, there was a time you had to prove yourself to the church. Uh, uh, that's how thrown the church was. Uh, uh, but now the church has to prove itself unto you. Uh, yeah. I'm here to tell you, friend of mine, uh, I have nothing to prove unto you uh, except Jesus Christ. Hey. Unsaved uh, and telling them uh, that they're part of the body of Christ, but you're not. Uh, and no, you're not. Uh, and let me tell you, friend, uh, and you can be a member of some church uh, and you can join up with some group uh, and that calls himself a church. Uh, but unless you're saved, uh, unless you're born again, uh, unless, friend of mine, uh, uh, you have become a uh, in your life of a new preacher that means you've changed and you're not going to heaven I'll tell you that there's a lot of church members going to go to hell and the cows are not being saved having your name on the road I won't get you to heaven having your name in the book of life is what gets you there hey man today and the pulpits have become silent after the preaching of the word of God Sin is no longer preached. It's no longer reproved. It's no longer rebuked. I realize this is unwanted by mankind, but we weren't called to be man pleasers. We was called to be God pleasers. You might say, preacher, you're never going to get anywhere preaching that way. How oh, but you're wrong. You see, I'm going to heaven. I guess I am. Amen. I'm going to heaven because I've been redeemed. Hey, hey. By the power of the blood, by my soul has been washed white. I've been sealed by the Holy Ghost, and my name is in the book of life. Whether by the grave or by the rapture, I will be with hey, you. Hey. Don't you tell me I'm not going to get anywhere because I am. I guess I am with hey, God. Hey. I'm going to heaven.